Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption, and today I've got another episode of Fallout 3 for you guys. But quickly before getting into the video, unfortunately, guys, the, the live commentary for this video, I used the wrong mic to record the live commentary for this video. I used the, the computer built-in mic, and the audio sounds like absolute crap. So believe me, guys, this is the this is the right decision here. Because the audio sounds so bad that it's just honestly not, not worth putting in. And if I had a choice between even uploading this video and putting that audio in I wouldn't have even uploaded the video because there's no point in uploading a video with complete crap audio like that because you can barely hear me it sounds terrible so I figured I would actually do some post commentary because this isn't the first time I've done post commentary I did post commentary in the past for a video where I screwed up with the audio and I actually really enjoyed it it's very interesting seeing me play this game and seeing how stupid I am while playing and yelling at myself while I'm playing and I sort of get to see it from from your guys perspective which is very cool but anyways in the last episode I believe our dad actually died which was a very tragic Tragic moment, but unfortunately, as usual, I ruined the epic moment with my with my crappy commentary. So yes, and our dad was killed by Curtilatum. Fortunately, though, apparently, it would seem that our dad took Colonel Autumn with him. So it's good that Colonel Autumn is dead, or so that that is what the game would have you think that Colonel Autumn is dead. And yeah, I, when I first played this game, I was pretty shocked when your dad died. And I thought he stuck with you for longer because I actually think I went back with him. I, like, you know, when, when you leave Vault, I think it's 112, you can either go back to Rivet City and Lincoln Memorial or whatever with him, or you can just fast travel there yourself and go your separate ways. And I think I went with him, so I sort of developed a closer, a sort of closer bond with him. Yeah, and we're going to be up against the Enclave in this episode. And the Enclave, the Enclave is a very interesting organization. They're definitely one of my favorite organizations. And there's a part later in this game when we encounter the Enclave and we pretty much confront them in, in their sort of base. And that is one of the cooler parts of this game. But I'm going to, I'm not going to spoil anything there. Pick up a stim pack there. And I believe Dr. Lee's like hacking this terminal because I'm too much of an idiot to, to increase my science. I just never increase my science. I've said it time and time again, guys. I'm obsessed with glowing things. And like, you know, obviously common sense would tell me, hey, you know, Rohan, you should increase science so you can we get weapons like the MPLX Nova Surge. But then like, you know, on impulse, when I just see, I see the skill upgrade interface. When I see it and I see energy weapons, I'm just like, glowing things. I need to increase energy weapons. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that, guys. I know that like science and Lockpick and crap are important. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know. Oh, wait, did we kill that Enclave soldier with one hit? I think we might have. The A3 is so good. The A3 is way, way, way better than the Destabilizer. Not even a comparison. The Destabilizer can fire faster and it's automatic and all, but the A3 is just way better. It's on another level, if you ask me. I mean, the only reason at this point that I'm even using the destabilizer is because I like the blue disintegration uh, animation. And I, I just want to mix things up. I don't want to just be using the A3 the entire time. Because microfusion cells are going to become very common uh, very soon in this game. And we could use the A3 all we want. And oh, these ghouls are just wrecking the scientists. This is what I mean about the scientists being totally incompetent. They like, they like cannot do crap. And we just totally disintegrated that, that feral ghoul roamer. Also, syncing up, syncing this up is actually going to be a little bit annoying, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Another feral ghoul. I'm actually, I'm actually using a different program to record audio this time. So tell me what you guys think. I highly doubt it will make a difference because all that makes a difference ultimately is the mic. I wonder if these, I don't remember if like anyone dies, if any of the doctors die. I'm not even sure if they can die. But yeah, these, these Enclave soldiers look so badass. And I have like no chance to hit anything there. A little bit of lag on my screen there. I, I'm, the way I'm recording this is I'm watching it back in Final Cut Pro while recording with Audacity. So, like, Final Cut Pro is laggy as crap sometimes. I love how those Frilgul roamers are, are uh, trying to take down the Enclave soldiers. And actually, the A3 is great, but it's not the best at, like, super close range. It's not, like, horrible. I mean, it does, like, decent damage, but the Disabler is, def is definitely better at close range. And it's good for spamming, so. And we're getting some microfusion cells right there right off the bat. Probably going to turn that laser rifle in. One person left me a comment once saying, Hey, Rohan, you shouldn't pick up, like, laser rifles and laser pistols if you're not going to use them. But the reason why I'm picking them up is because I want to turn them in to the outcast for free stim packs. Because that's a great deal. You're just getting free stim packs for, like, energy weapons. I think it's a good deal. I mean, yeah, sure, I could sell stuff and buy the stim packs, but I feel like just directly trading it in to an extent is better. I'm not really 100% sure. Oh, and one more thing. I think someone asked me, like, what I, what I did with the alien blaster. I left the alien blaster back at my room 
in Tenpenny Tower. I almost forgot the name of my own base. Ten How could I forget the name of Tenpenny Tower? Uh, anyways, uh, I will. I just left my Alien Blaster there because I'm treating. I feel like I'm treating the Alien Blaster more as like a reward, a sort of keepsake, you know, sort of like you know a trophy, I guess you could say. Because I don't know when I have something that has like limited ammo, I'm the kind of person who just never ends up using it. Just like you know, puts it away, just sticks it away somewhere, and said, "I have the Alien Blaster. That's good enough for me." Yeah, Doctor Lee is gonna be gonna be a bit of a bitch here. Sorry, I, I shouldn't. I, I, I have this terrible habit of talking I, I during the text, and I'm doing it again. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. Uh, what am I gonna say? <laughs> this is very awkward post commentating because I don't know when I'm gonna choose the option. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> like, this is not meant to be post commentated. This is not meant to be post commentated. This is such a fail. I'm like failing in the episode, and I'm failing with my post commentary. There's like a fail within a fail, so it's just like one massive fail. But yeah, basically, one of them can't continue, and Dr. Lee's being a bitch about it. She's like, we need some of your stim packs to, you know, heal you up. And I, I probably just don't know what to do, so. I mean, my a, a bad karma character could just kill him, I suppose. I can't leave Garza here in this condition. Yes, this looks to be enough. Tell me. Thank you. Ah, I gave him the stim packs. Oh, man. That, that, you gave in, Roshank. How could you give in? You should be bad until the end. All right. Well, I guess we can finally move on here, though, which is nice. Yeah, and I really apologize for my habit of talking while while the NPCs are talking. I know that's that, that, that annoys me as well, and I'm I'm trying to stop that. I'm trying to prevent it, but I don't know. Sometimes I just keep doing that. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on here. And one more thing I do want to touch on is, unfortunately, guys, the next few episodes for the next like you know week or so are gonna be pre-recorded. And the reason why they're pre-recorded is I'm really struggling with work. Uh, I've I'm working over some right now at my college, and things are just a little bit busy for me. So once work ends, and I think during school, I don't think I'll be able to do th I'll do I don't think I'll have to do that anymore. But the next few episodes are gonna be pre-recorded. And in general, I feel like my commentary sort of takes a hit when I pre-record. Although actually, when watching it back, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I don't know. I'm just, I just overly worry about the quality of my videos a lot, and I guess I'm just, I'm just sharing it with you guys. And we're just, we're just owning these feral ghouls. Die, you feral ghouls. Alright. That is a, that is a dead-ass feral ghoul. The, 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 the animation that the game are just so over the top, with like, the, the disintegrations, and they're like, shooting it in the head, and then it's like, leg just like, bursts. Like, even though the, the leg is nowhere near the head, it's like, head and it's leg, and it's like, entire body burst. Not that I have a problem with that. Over the top, like, death animations are sick. And it's nice that I'm breaking out the Juan Long here. Let's see if I'm actually gonna use it, though. I probably won't. Feral ghoul rumor. We haven't encountered any, like, higher-level Feral Ghouls yet, I think. Because I know that there are, like, glowing ones, and they're, like, Feral Ghoul Reavers, I think, which are actually, like, pretty powerful. All right, I'll probably get- I'll probably get trolled by, the, by them later on in the game. Like, how does his leg- his legs popped off when I, like, shot him in the head? How does that make sense, Bethesda? I feel- I feel like if they don't do that, then I'll be like, Bethesda, make your death animations over the top. But then, if they do do that, then I'll complain. I'll be like, Bethesda, stop making your death animations over the top. So it's like a lose-lose for Bethesda. Rohan will always complain. Maybe that's just in my nature, I don't know. These frill ghouls have such good items, they're giving us like two bottle caps. How, how amazing. That was a pathetic attempt at sarcasm. You, you guys already know, like I don't even need to say that my jokes are lame anymore. You guys are just thinking to yourself, like, oh, Roshake just made another lame joke. And that was terrible aim. Why didn't I use bats? I'm pretty sure I had enough points. Ooh, there's a new Cola Quantum there. And there's a skill book too, I believe that is for energy weapons. Oh, what, what? Did I, did I just... Rohan, you missed the skill book. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, did I already pick that up? Maybe I did already pick that up, actually. That could be why. Either I'm, like, really aware of things, and I know that I already picked it up, and that's why I didn't pick it up, or I'm just super oblivious, and I didn't see it. For reason. And, like, the flip. He flipped when I shot. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I shouldn't complain about the over-the-top death animations because they're cool. And this is a perfect example of why you should have high lock picking and science and stuff like that. And where are the scientists? They're so they're so bad. Like like, I I don't know why I didn't just kill them. I don't know if you can kill them. Maybe you can't. I'm not really I'm not even sure. I wish you could kill them because that that would be very that would be that would be a very nice thing to do. I think I actually just made a cut there, which is why which is why that on, that that Brotherhood soldier I think just like randomly disappeared there in the distance. The turrets, the bane of my existence. Although I think that's a, that's a good turret. No, why am I shooting it? Don't shoot it, Rohan. 
No! That's a good turret! Oh my god! What am I doing? <laughs> this is so bad. Don't shoot him! Don't shoot him! No! Okay. Alright, alright. We're all good. I think I realized. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is such a fail. I am such a fail. Oh, there we go. There are the enemies. Now they're all piling in. Stupid vats stop bugging out. Focus on the right thing. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot of ghouls. Although they're just, they just seem to be regular ghouls for the most part. There is a roamer, I suppose, but, like, even roamers aren't that bad. Like, if, if it's a reaver or, like, a glowing one, then it kind of sucks. Jeez, wait. Did, did he just catch on fire? How did that happen? Oh, the Brotherhood Flamer dude. He's, like, flaming me. Stupid bastard. I should shoot him. I should have shot him before. I should use unarmed to kill him. I should just kill the Brotherhood soldier and, oh, whoa, he wrecked him. Never mind. I don't want to mess with that dude. He's carrying a mini- he's carrying a minigun and like a flamer, like how is he doing that? Dr. Lee is unconscious. Oh my gosh. Dr. Lee, stop this! Pick up the pace! I should probably have cut this out, honestly. Eh, whatever. I don't- I don't think that- I don't think the episode's very long this time around anyways. I'm looking at the counter, it looks like- looks like it's around 21 minutes or so, so that's not so bad. But yeah, they're- they're totally laggy behind. And that, that, like, so someone just left me a comment earlier. He was like, you're going to hate the next part of the game, Rohan, because Dr. Lee and the scientists are just so incompetent. And, like, like, true that, man. Like, the scientists are so incompetent. Look at what, they're not even, like, close to me. They're not even close. They're just all the way back here. It's so absurd. Where are, oh my gosh. What are you guys doing? You guys suck. What is Dr. Lee doing? Oh, well, I guess they were fighting some Enclave soldiers, so I don't know. Dr. Lee, use your science to kill the Enclave soldiers. Use, like, some sort of psychic technique, even though it has nothing to do with science. And I'm, like, I'm making this strange, wavy gesture with my hands right now. <laughs> like, I don't know. I need to get a face cam at some point. Like, I I'll, I'll probably never do a face cam for- and my aim sucks. This is so bad. I'm so bad. Oh, my gosh. Use bats and use the A3, Roshank. Oh, my gosh. I need to stop calling myself Roshank. Because one day, one day I'm going to introduce myself to someone and I'm going to be like, Hey, I, my name is Roshank. And they're going to be like, what kind of name is that? And I'm like, oops, I meant my name is Rohan. <laughs> because, of course, as you guys know, if you guys don't know my name, I don't know how you wouldn't know my name is Roshank Redemption. I don't know why I was about to say that. I was about to say, if you guys don't know, my name is Roshank Redemption. My commentary is super nonsensical right now. Because, I, I don't know, I'm just like, this, this video is such a fail. I'm like failing within a fail, but we wrecked that Enclave soldier with a critical strike. This is a new low for me, guys. I'm failing with a post-commentary within a video that's a fail because of the audio. And I'm also failing with a gameplay. So it's like a triple fail. <laughs> triple fail. That reminds me of like the what triple kill it? thing from like Halo. I'm a huge Halo fan, by the way. I think we've talked about this before. I used to be like super into it. Super into like competitive and stuff. Maybe I will do some Halo content on my channel eventually. Although the focus, the focus coming up is not going to be Halo 5, which is coming out uh, this year, I think. But uh, it's not going to be Halo 5. It's going to be Fallout 4. But you guys already know. You guys already know. Right now, I am a Fallout and Pokemon channel. And I, I plan to honestly most likely be a Bethesda and Pokemon channel for the most part. I do have some plans to play some other games and mix some stuff in. But over the next year or so, I, I might mix in stuff like Super Mario. You know what? Actually, no. I shouldn't say that. I should not say that because for all I know, I could completely change my mind and do something else. So... I feel like Pokemon, though. Like, Bethesda, I can't necessarily guarantee will be a staple of my channel forever. I do want to do a Sky Skyrim and Oblivion LP. I will be doing Fallout 4. I am doing Fallout 3. So I can't, but I can't necessarily guarantee that Bethesda is going to be a staple of my channel forever. I feel like I will always be doing Bethesda games on my channel, but I can't guarantee it's going to be, like, a staple forever. But Pokemon, I feel like, is something that I just love too much to ever give up. I feel like it's going to be a staple on my channel. And I'm saying that right now, and I might end up contradicting myself, so I'm not guaranteeing anything here. Pokemon is something I love. Pokemon is something that's very, close, that's very close to my heart. And finally, after all that time, we're back. We've made no progress this video. That's, like, the fourth fail. So, like, I forgot to record the audio. That's fail number one. The post-commentary is a fail. That's fail number two. The gameplay and me derping out is a fail, so that's fail number three. Three. And then fail number four is that we've done nothing this video, so it's a quadruple fail. It's an over fail if using Halo terminology because you know overkill is like four. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that, I was I was gonna I was gonna try and explain that, but that would have been a terrible explanation. So I'm just gonna just gonna skip it. So jump overkill in Halo Three if you don't know what I'm talking about. Or well, I suppose it was in Halo Two and. Halo Reach and Halo 4 as well. Don't talk to me about Halo Reach. I think Halo 4 was not that bad. I didn't really like it that much. I didn't like it as much as 2 and 3. But Halo Reach, I'm sorry if you liked it, but it was a disaster to me. Armor Lock gives me nightmares. Halo 2 was the shit. 
Halo 2 was so good. Halo 3 was just as much the shit as Halo 2. I mean, Halo 3 was so good. And then Halo Reach was just like Bungie just like giving us their crap. They just handed us a pile of dung and were like, here, take this. I'm sorry. I usually don't like hitting on games, but just like the memories with that game because I loved Halo 3 so much. I liked Halo. I think I liked Halo 2 a little bit more, but I was better at Halo 3. Like I was super into Halo when Halo 3 came about and I was just like, holy crap, this is so good. And then Halo Reach came out and I was like, Bungie, why? Why do you do this to me? Speaking of which, I still have yet to play Destiny. I still need to play Titanfall. I still need to play Destiny. People are bugging me about that. I need to do that eventually. I don't know, maybe I should have more variety on my channel. The thing is, I I've talked about that before that I should have more variety, but at the same time, I don't want to like, you know, do like 60 different LPs at the same time, so. I don't know, I don't know. Who knows? One thing I am planning on doing, one thing I really do want to do, is I have never played a Bioshock game. I have never played a Bioshock game. And I did some stupid things, and I have this terrible habit of spoiling games for myself. And I unfortunately spoiled Bioshock Infinite for myself. Because I'm an idiot, and sort of my friend kind of spoiled it for me. And when my friend kind of spoiled some stuff for me, I went and, like, you know, ended up looking up some gameplay. And now, unfortunately, I spoiled it, spoiled it for myself. Long story short, which was a stupid decision in hindsight. But I know nothing of, about Bioshock 1 and 2, so I want to do it a blind Bioshock playthrough at some point. Let me know what you guys think of that if you guys want to do that. And people have also been telling me I shouldn't max out my skills to 100, but it's too late because apparently I'm maxing out medicine to 100, so <laughs> apparently I'm an idiot. I should probably put some points into sneak. Sneak? Sneak. Put your rest into- put the rest into sneak. Put it into sneak! Sneak! No! Yes! Yes! Finally, okay. Gosh, just leveling up is a freaking fiasco with me. It takes like six years. Those look good to me. I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't have medicine in 100, though. That is a very good perk, I think, and I think I should choose that. Choose it. Choose it. Choose it. Oh, that's good, too. Actually, Life Giver's better. I think Life Giver's potentially better. I don't know what to choose anymore. I just don't know. It's like I have ADD. I'll just be like, oh, Sniper, and then I'll see like, oh, Life Giver. Oh, Fast. Fast Metabolism is good, too, I think. Yes, I have ADD. It's official, guys. That's good. That's a good perk. Plus 20% health, I think, when you use Stimpaks. I think that's what it said. Okay, well, I took Life Giver, apparently. Life Giver is a great perk, too. Those are all good perks. Health is really important. Health is always important. One idea that I've had for Fallout 4 is because I don't really know too much about the game, I could do some research and I could, you know, like, speculate on what I think the best special stats would be. And can you scientists walk any freaking slower? Just like, please walk slower. This is worse than Bargus Pace. And if you guys don't know what I mean by Bargus Pace, because I think I said that in the last video but didn't clarify it, but Bargus, when I, when I was doing some of my old Skyrim videos, which are on my channel, by the way, they're pretty low quality, I'll be honest, because they're older videos. But, like, when I was doing my old Skyrim videos, I had this one quest, and there was this dog named Bargus, and he was just slow as crap. But I'm going to be quiet here Madison, I'm surprised to see you don't talk down to me lions I had nowhere else to turn you must help us project purity has been overrun yes I'd heard reports of an incident there what details can you give us the enclave they've attacked project purity James is dead we have to do something then it's as we feared Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, d I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. All right, I tried to be silent during that scene. Oh, more talking, okay. Rothschild should help you. Okay, all right, all right, now that the talking's done. I'm not really sure, like, what you guys want. Whether you guys want me to talk over, over all this stuff or not. And it's very difficult to live commentate this. This is just straight awkward. I believe this is our first encounter with the Brotherhood, though, really. Scribe Jameson. She is our... All right, where can I find Scribe Jameson? 
Or like, okay, all right. I have to like put it. I don't know which option I'm gonna choose. Like Fallout is not meant to be live commentated. There's no way. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. Okay. I chose to help them. Even okay, th so this is the story of the outcasts, huh? Interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot... Okay, I guess that makes sense. I always like the outcast, actually. I wonder, it's like a guessing game. Which option am I gonna choose? Yeah, but this is our first real encounter with the Brotherhood, I think. More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now. As before, they seek to control and destroy. All in the... Yeah, so President Eden is like the leader of the Enclave. And this is, this is such a... I know this is a fail, guys. This is such a fail. I mean, like, it's just... It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to commentate this with post-commentary. Because, like, it's one thing if I'm actually playing the game live and I'm like, Oh, let's choose this option. Then I, like, listen to what he has to say and I'm like, Oh, let's choose this option. But I don't know when I'm gonna choose the option. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what option I'm gonna choose. I don't know what's gonna happen. So, like, I'll be talking and saying something and then randomly I'll choose an option and dialogue will happen. I'll be like, oh, now I need to be quiet. But anyways, uh, we're winding down here with this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it off there. I apologize for the fail and the crappy commentary, because it was post-commentary. I just wasn't all that great, but I figured it was... A I had a lot of fun reacting to my old video. Uh, sort of watching and reacting to my old video, uh, the last post-commentary I did. So I figured I would go ahead and try this again since the audio did get corrupted. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much gonna do it for this episode of Fallout 3. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe the comment question of the day is what is your favorite bioshock game not really related to fallout here but what is your favorite bioshock game and also let me know would you guys be down to see a blind bioshock lp at some point because if i did do a blind bioshock lp it would definitely be of the first bioshock game uh so let me know what you guys think on that and i will see you in the next episode of fallout 3